Hello and welcome. My name is Gail Moffat and uh, I just want to talk about, um, well, first of all, I want to talk about what these videos are all about. It's um, mainly where I have these connections to God and Jesus and many of the saints and people from the Bible era. And I, um, they asked me to do this YouTube video, um, videos, um, so that people could hear their words um, because God does have a plan. And if you are watching these videos on a regular basis, you'll start to see the pieces come together and, and see that the plan that is there. But anyway, I, um, I will go straight into it. Um, and I, I, oh, before I go, <laughs> don't forget to subscribe if you if you are watching this, um, and so that you can be kept abreast of of any future videos. So let's see. Um, so what I want to talk about today is I want to talk about the importance of prayer, and um, what I feel about prayer. And this is something that I've had first-hand experience in, is that when you take the decision to connect to God's kingdom, his kingdom of light, and you ask him or the many highly evolved souls to help you in your endeavors, what happens immediately is that thought or the words or the written down version is an energy and that energy is transferred to God's kingdom and once it's been transferred to his kingdom the angels gather round and organize all of the prayers and they are sifted through a bit like a sorting office of, a, of, a, of the post office. And each prayer is allocated to the correct person. And so, for instance, God will have a huge pile of prayers given to him on a daily basis. Now, once these prayers have been received by the correct person, they may feel that they need additional help to, to adhere to this prayer. And sometimes when they have need additional help, they will either go to, um, they will either go to uh, another soul that can help them, or they will enlist the angelic realm to help. Because as you know from previous videos, the angels have skills and abilities that we don't as man. And so they are able to do things that we can't. And so often the, the angels are in, recruited in order to be able to help in the process with prayer. The second thing and this is a really important point, is that sometimes there is a situation where God may feel that the prayer is not appropriate. It's, in other words, it's not an, an appropriate request. And in those situations, God will always look to see how he can give something in some way to ease a burden because he does not like people to have to exceed in their burdens he likes to reduce them if anything else and sometimes prayers will be answered in a completely different way but nevertheless they are answered And so the point of this, this talk is to let you know that God has instructed all the many people that are involved with the prayers to always answer your prayers. They either answer it where they 
give you, do something for you, but it's in a different way than you perhaps have thought, or they actually adhere to your plight and, and help you. Now, I know in, in our world, there are many people that go through extreme suffering and extreme difficulty and they don't pray. And what God has continually said to me is that the importance of prayer is vital because his world needs to be alerted. And it's a bit like if your father and mother were people that would help you, but you never went to them and you never asked them for the help, they perhaps wouldn't give you the help because they don't know that there is a problem in the first place. And prayers are a bit like that. They need to be alerted to the seriousness of the problem so that they can help in the many ways that they can help. Equally, God has always said time and time and time again, he does not want to intercept your free will. And this is another reason why prayer actually gives God permission to help. As you know, if you've been watching some of my videos before, you will know that there is an angel, a seraphim, that always accompanies God wherever he is. And this angel will hear the prayers and see the prayers that are coming to God. And he will be involved, this is one of his roles, will be involved in allocating the prayers that are required for the angels to help. Because it's, he is the connection between God and the angelic realm. Some people live in fear and need a great deal of help. And this is where the seraphims will ask my, I, Archangel Michael to assist because he is a protector. Some people ask for healing and again, that is where Raphael can step in. Some people are looking for knowledge and wisdom of how to do things or how to achieve things. And Haniel is a great one for this. The many evolved souls that exist in God's kingdom are also included in these prayers. And there are many people that surround God all the time. And he will instruct them as he goes about his business to assist one person or another in response to a prayer. It is my belief through all of my connections and my knowledge that I have acquired working for God and being of service to him as he educates me continually that prayer has to be part of our lives and prayer is to our advantage and we must not see this as a negative that we must always continue to pray. For prayer is the answer to our problems because ultimately God is the answer to our problems. I beseech you, always, always remember to pray for God listens always. And so thank you for listening to my words today and I look forward to seeing you on Thursday. Okay, goodbye.